Hey guys, uh, welcome aboard. It's Bob Spiro here with Cryptopreneurs for MLM Pros. Thanks for joining us this evening, or if you're watching this uh, recording, uh, be sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. And uh, feel free to leave your comments uh, below. Uh, just a quick disclaimer, while I'm not a financial advisor, this is not to be taken as financial advice. You might consider this my hobby or just a, a path I'm pursuing uh, as for entertainment. So uh, I've got a very exciting project that we're working on. I'll share some background information and there will be some links in the description below. And this is non-commissionable. So what you do is up to you. What I do will be my destiny. So let's take a peek here and see what's going on. Um, I discovered this uh, project about six months ago. And uh, I'll give you some background information. But Pulse Chain is an up and coming fork of Ethereum. I think we all know some of the projects that uh, or some of the problems that uh, the Ethereum blockchain is uh, experiencing right now as far as being clogged as it gets more and more used and uh, fees are just going through the roof to the point where some projects are just not operating anymore. They're just not feasible. So this, we feel... Richard does anyway, he's got the experience, we'll solve these problems. So we understand that what we've done here to get this rolling, we did a sacrifice back in uh, July. And, you know, we want to thank Richard Hart for what he's doing for us. Uh, I think it's spectacular. We've been having a very good year with income. A big expansion of our activities is coming thanks to the Pulse Chain airdrop those plans are going to explode. Our work will be greatly accelerated, resulting in huge numbers of lives saved in the future as a direct result of Richard's supporters' wonderful generosity. <clears throat> We've all worked tirelessly to help keep up donors and help keep up uh, with our part of the process. Thank you so much, Richard. So, Here's some bonus multipliers, but here's the goals of Pulse Chain to increase the Ethereum's value. And you understand what's going on here. You'll be excited too. Ethereum's fees will be lowered by sharing its load. Will enrich enrich all the Ethereum users. See, Pulse Chain will re-enable priced out users instead of launching empty. Pulse Chain brings the Ethereum system state in ERC20s. This recent rewards holders and founders of Ethereum-based projects. Anybody that's holding ERC-20 tokens, including Ethereum, I've got a list of them I'll show you. When Pulse Chain launches as a fork of Ethereum, catch this, they're copying the entire Ethereum blockchain, a copy, a duplicate of it, and bringing it over to Pulse Chain. Think about that for a moment. So if you own any tokens, ERC-20 tokens on Ethereum, you're going to get an equal amount of pulse on pulse chain. Only it'll be Ethereum pulse, et cetera, or pulse Ethereum, whichever network it uh, it comes in. There'll be cross chains. So you're actually going to double your wallet sizes in the amount of coins that we have and once price is stabilized and utility and cost is understood and recognized, who wouldn't want to use a faster, cheaper, more efficient system? And then Pulse is going to become the new Ethereum and figure it out how Ethereum went from pennies to where it is pushing 5G. So. Enrich the uh, ERC-20 and NFT users because they'll be able to be launched on Pulse Chain. It's easy to use. All you need is a, a MetaMask wallet. Just works. You only have to change a simple setting to access the Pulse Chain. Right now, we're on the test net, which I'll be able to share with you. We're going to lower Pulse Chain, have lower Pulse Chain fees, and serve more users. We'll have a throughput 
four times using uh, three second block times where Ethereum is around 13 seconds. So it'll be quicker, kind of like similar to what we're doing with another project. You see, we'll also eliminate pollution because it's proof of stake, not proof of work. And we get to be as, uh, as they say, early adopters, the uh, people capable of doing the staking and then earning just rewards. And then we've actually got a game plan and strategy for how to utilize the capital without um, selling your coins uh, through our own exchanges. And there'll be a Pulse Exchange. Pulse Exchange will also be big this year, built on Pulse Change. So we're going to improve game theory uh, with 0% inflation. Validators only earn fees, and 25% of the fees are burnt to reduce the circulating supply to increase the value. Empower Pulse Chain holders. You see, Pulse Chain's native tokens, PLS, can be staked and delegated to validators that reward the delegators with the largest percentage of fees. So interoperability and bridging between the change, you can trade them on either change, uh, on either exchanges, Anything locked on the Ethereum network bridge to the Pulse network will be known as P anything or P um, USDT, P Ethereum, etc. Example P ETH for Ethereum locked on Ethereum bridge to the Pulse network, and then Hex. Hex is a uh, Ethereum derivative. It's built on, on, on Ethereum. So HEX is known as eHEX, short for HEX on the Ethereum network. When it's bridged, it, we, uh, you know, we fork, it's going to be uh, PHEX, short for HEX on the Pulse network, except you'll have the HEX on the HEX on the Ethereum network, and you'll have Pulse HEX Wow, could you imagine that as it goes into total adoption and people realize they've got twice as many tokens? Interesting. Disclaimer. Now, here's what we did. Making this statement clear, we sacrificed to prove how strong I believe that blockchains are speech and speech is a protected human right. This is an important political statement. You must have no expectation of profit from the work of others. The set of people who have sacrificed to show their commitment to this political statement make a great set of people to airdrop free things to. This sacrifice points are not meant to have any monetary value. Remember, you're not buying anything. The world is just noticing that we are amongst a group of people that sacrifice to make a political statement. Some countries tax their citizens when they receive things of value. Pulse Chain and all the coins are designed to start with no value, which is ideal. Consult your own legal and financial professionals. There's nothing written here should be taken as professional advice. The only thing we know of set to be airdropped for free to this political group so far is PLS, which is Pulse Chain. That's really cool. And that's the way we'll take it. So it started here uh, as a Pulse sacrifice and what it required was nothing more than a, uh, a MetaMask wallet, which I'll open now. And then obviously we had to have, um, they took a number of coins. We sacrificed Ethereum at the time. We just happened to have some. So if we take a look at uh, the activity here, this is July 18th, August, September, October, November, December. So you don't do the math just about six months ago. 0.138 Ethereum. Well, it's 600 bucks today. It was about 250 bucks back then. So that's how we got rewarded. But nonetheless, it was a $600 sacrifice to support this project with no expectation of profit or reward. And why did we back this project and, and support Richard Hart? Well, we did a little bit of research uh, and Hex 
hex.com is a blockchain, if you want to call it CD, and that business-like model with the track record of 40% return. <laughs> Income claims the promises. This is just what they're paying. And they paid a lot more than this when they did the doubling for when they got started here over the course of the last two years. And let's just take a look at, uh, where is it? It's right over here at the, uh, the history of all time history of HEX. It's about two years, just under two years starting here. And this is from the start to the finish and the, the volume of sales that they've done and the growth from where it started at 0 0.00027 to the growth here up at 47 cents. Well, you do the math. Uh, it was astrological for the percentage of gain over the period of time. And I'll compare it to some other projects. And then obviously it's doing some correcting, but nonetheless, it's a, and you know what else is going to happen? It's going to do its thing and, uh, and reoccur um, with a, a huge growth path. Now, you can do your own research. Um, you can join us in the uh, Telegram groups. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, I just want to make sure we're still uh, screen sharing the original page here. But what I was... Um, interested in sharing with you. This is coin lore. And this is a list of all the ERC20 tokens built on the Ethereum network. Uh, and top ones obviously are Ethereum, the Binance coin, the USD coin, even Shibu, Rat Bitcoin, Uniswap, Chainlink. And I could go on and on, but I want to share with you this fact. Think about this for a moment. A lot of these coins are junk and never going to go anyplace. They're just wannabes and copycats. Uh, but here's the reality of it, because all of these coins, and when I looked at this, if I scroll down to the bottom, 3,576, 3,614 different coins. So all these coins are going to be copied over to Pulse Chain. And anybody that's smart that's using the Ethereum network and they start using the Pulse network will figure out it's better, quicker, faster, cheaper, etc. We'll start using the Pulse Chain. So we'll see early adoption in the next three to six months. And over the next year, who knows? Pulse could go to a buck, five bucks, 10 bucks, or more. Look at the way Ethereum went. Let's take a peek because I've got some classic histories here. If we take a peek, and this is just looking at the history of different cryptos. This is emerging technology. You got to understand it's a blockchain experiment. No expectation of profit, but let's take a peek. Had you been able to acquire 10 cent Bitcoin, $100 Bitcoin, I started remembering $3,000 Bitcoin. Here's the history of Bitcoin, the all-time history of Bitcoin. Correction. And he is, this is exactly where Hex is, right? Did a correction, and then you'll see it go up. That was the 2017 to 2021. Dipped back in April. Oh, my gosh, that was a bad or good crap. But it happens. You got to get used. I just want to pre- warned you of an expectation of the future you get in you buy high it dips you say you quit it doesn't work you gotta look at the long-term picture here and understand what projects you're involved in and what utility they have but um once again we've got this correction here but it did hit the all-time high at 60,000 63 or 64,000 which is pretty cool let's take a peek at uh, ethereum when it got started, the one that uh, is being favored since the all all the uh, good old boys, the inside guys, Hinman and the squad there that are suppressing the XRP project, they all gave this a green bill of health, but they all bought in early. They get, made millions at this because early adoption, a founding member gets the most bang for your buck when you first started with no expectation of profit or future gain. 
but you position yourself in the early onsets. And as a believer in the project, when it corrects and it's below the Fibonacci extractions, which I don't have that uh, chart here, and I don't use them. I just have learned from other people who have taught me how to look and understand the trends here. So even you don't buy at the top, you buy at the bottom and ride it up again, understanding over the long haul, it's going to continue to appreciate, but Ethereum is running into problems and it's met its betterment. We're going to support Ethereum with Pulse and bring everybody from the Ethereum network over to the Pulse network. So you're going to see Pulse really do some amazing things in the next year. And talking about amazing things, this is a sidetrack here, but just to understand where all the money is going to go. And I had 5,000 of these a long time ago. I dumped them. I didn't think they were worth anything. I've recently acquired some more because now I understand this project. But here, once again, da -da 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 -da, they start like that. Then they have a bang. And they do an adjustment. Now we're down here, which is still a great time to buy. And then it went up here, up to what? I don't know where it was, $1.80 back in April. Wow, we were riding high then. That was amazing. And then it just, uh, we had the lawsuit here coming through and all this other bullshit, but it doesn't really matter. We're down here, it's on sale. We're below that level where we know the Fibonacci retracements of the way XRP and BTC and HEX and all the other ones have done and the other undervalued coins will do, it'll go way the hell ahead of this 3.3. They're talking 10, 12, $15 XRP in the imminent near future. As soon as this lawsuit is over and the air is cleared, and you understand the marketplace that this particular asset has positioned all over the world, it could become the next one of the major, major, major global uh, economies. Uh, it's about uh, XRP, the Ripple project. You'll hear and learn um, more about it. So that's what I did. I learned about Hex and what was going on here. I staked a little bit of Hex, not a lot of Hex. I staked a little bit, and here you go. I have a little bit staked here of Hex. Um, and where did it go? That's the list of ERC tokens. Sacrifice leaderboard. Can you imagine that during the initial phases, phases of sacrifice, 670 million was put up for this project. There's some serious people here. And as I, I recall, uh, in the top 10 or 12 people, they were putting up, you know, 10, 20, 30 million or more per person. So Richard Hardy's got a lot of successful followers. He's a very successful entrepreneur. He's really got this thing figured out. And uh, here you go. 29 million, 19 million, 19 million, 15 million. Look at this, the top 10, 6 million. All right, I think I'm number 32,000 or something like that. You could look at the entire um, leaderboard and take a peek here. This is live. I'll go to my MetaMask wallet. <clears throat> and on the Ethereum main network, if I want to have um, my wallet address where I can deposit Ethereum, this is it right here. Just feel free to send some Ethereum over here if you like this video. Now, I'll enter my address over here in Bango. I can get my balance. So I sacrificed that 0.138 Ethereum. That was about 600 bucks worth of Ethereum in today's US dollars. And I'm the proud owner of 2.63 million 
pulse tokens. So you do the math, you figure it out. It ain't money in the bank today. It's future expectation of wealth because we know that this project will be super successful. We got a pulse swap that's coming out and we actually have a pulse uh, DeFi project where you'll be able to stake your pulse and take cash out and invest it in another project, spend it, hold it in, in Tether. You name it, we can do it. We've got the plan and uh, we got you covered. So with uh, no further ado, I'm gonna stop the share and uh, be sure to like and share this video. If you're interested, uh, we can show you how easy it is to participate. As I say, if you own any ERC20 tokens in a decentralized platform like Binance where you have your own keys or crypto.com where you have your own keys or in MetaMask which is easy to hook up with these apps and whatnot uh, then you're all set if you hold the tokens when the pulse chain fork happens you will be rewarded and be sure to like and share others and tell others to do the same if you'd like to have some pulse too. Anyway, got to go. Have a great day, guys. See you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.